Hello students. In this video we're going to try and make this simple doghouse using Tinkercad. So go ahead and log into your Tinkercad accounts. And we're just going to wait a moment for this to load. And you should be at the Tinkercad dashboard. Pretty sure if you click on this Tinkercad logo it'll take you to this dashboard. And this is where you can create new designs and click on learn. Uh, for future projects and any other uh, things you want to create in Tinkercad. So with the simple doghouse uh, we're going to go ahead and click on create a new design and the purpose of this lesson is to teach you some more basics of how to operate within Tink Tinkercad and how to use some of the tools and uh, we're really not going to spend a lot of time adding detail to it uh, that's why it's a simple doghouse. So once Tinkercad is loaded, click on the title box and type in simple doghouse and your name. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to drag a box in. We're going to leave the box as it is. We're going to go to the shapes tool and you should scroll down and you'll see roof. I'm going to click and drag that in and put it right next to it. Okay, we're going to zoom in. So you can click the plus. Uh, click on the roof. And uh, we're going to raise the roof. <laughs> but we need to know how much to raise the roof by. So we can click on the box. And I see that its height is 20. If I click on this, it shows me the height is 20. So we're going to click on the roof, click on the little triangle, and click and drag that up until I believe I think this one should say 20 yep there we go and zoom out a little bit um, so now if I click on the view cube front it should show us I'm gonna click on home again that it is the same height the reason I did that is because I need it on top of the box uh, go ahead and click and drag across both of the objects. So just click and drag. And then click on, there's this button right here. This is the align button. So I click on the align button. These little dots pop up. We're not going to click these dots just yet. I want to explain what they do. So the middle one, if you hover over it, you see how it's giving you, let me zoom in. It's giving you a preview of what's going to happen that preview shows you what's going to happen. So if I click on that, it lines up or it aligns the two shapes in that direction. Now I'm going to click on both of those again, click align, and I'm going to use this middle one to align them like that. So it should be perfectly lined up now. Click on home. Now I'm going to select both of these again and I'm going to click on group or press control G. When you group it and they're all lined up perfectly, it'll make it one solid color, which is exactly what I want. Well, one solid color. All right. So now let's take our simple house shape and we're going to change its size. So I'm going to click on it and on the left side or even if you if you click on this middle one right here or this corner one you'll see dimensions pop up. If you click on those dimensions you can actually type in the number that you want. Click on home again so I can see everything. Um, this one let's make that 40 so I made it 100 um, in length and 40 in height from the top of the roof. Yeah, see that? And now I'm going to click on the side one. Well, let's click here. So if you click on this one, or if you click on the corner, the corner one gives you the depth and the length, or the width, I mean. Let's make it 40. Cool. So now we have this you know, basic 
house shape for the dog house and we need to actually add the roof that you saw in the example so what we're going to do is going to click on this and we're going to click on this button right here duplicate so I just duplicated that and what I want to do is move that out so click and drag it out so you have two I'm going to duplicate it again but this time I'm going to take my duplicated one and click and drag it a little taller you should see let me move the view cube you should see it it should look like that just like that and let's move that out of the way whoa click on home zoom out a little bit I'm using two fingers to zoom in and out on the original one I'm going to turn that into a hole so click on hole and then I'm going to select both of these so I need to hold down the shift key on the keyboard oopsies undo holding shift clicking on both of those and then I'm going to line them up just like that and then I'll click group and what happens is you cut out the roof shape see that um, so let's just change some of the colors here to add some depth to it so on the original house shape click on solid let's make it a brown color and then the roof let's make that a black color okay, now I'm going to select both of these so I'm holding down shift and I'm clicking on both and I'm going to line them up so I'm going to line them up in the middle and line them up in the middle like that so there's our roof but we need to let me click on this corner right here expand it a bit so we're gonna expand it in this direction if I click on the view cube that side expand it in this direction um, don't worry too much about exact measurements of anything because that's not the point of this lesson the point of this lesson is to see what we can make in a short amount of time and explore Tinkercad and learn some of its tools. All right, so there's our basic house shape. Now, how do we cut out a door and some windows? I'm gonna click on the view cube so I can see the bottom. And if we scroll up in the shape, um, in the basic shape menu, and click and drag box so that it's underneath the house there. Now, let me click on bottom. So I can actually see the bottom of that. I'm going to click on that so that goes away. And now I'm going to expand the whole box. Let's see, can I see? Yeah, I can see it. See how it's coming through? We don't want it to come through. Okay. And now with those with that selected hold down shift on the keyboard and click on the brown part of the house and click group now what you just did is you cut out a hole in the house okay let's go back to the front view click on the space go ahead and drag another box in make it tall hold shift click on the brown click group and there's your door okay. now if you wanted to add window do the same thing but this time you have to move it up into the space so you would just click on the cone and drag it up and then hold shift click on the brown and group um no i didn't mean to do that okay well my computer is asking something funny and there you have it you have a very very basic and simple doghouse um, that that's literally all I wanted to do when this lesson is show you how to cut out parts from other parts and how to use the align tool to line up your shapes so that you can group them and cut them out of each other and also some color changing options and how to move things up in the space um, 
another thing when you click in the corner of a shape you can actually change its dimensions so for my engineering students um, that's a very important thing to us dimensioning our parts uh, for this for this lesson we didn't really care too much about the dimensions as long as it looks like a doghouse we're good um, I want you to screenshot this and submit it for credit and or I should be able to see it um, in your class if you have signed up for the class within Tinkercad otherwise I definitely need a screenshot of your simple doghouse and um, hope you had fun with this lesson and if you would even um, would like to try adding some more windows and maybe some more details that would definitely be a bonus